Gail and Julie are, are having such a, a huge impact and I suppose we will not know, even maybe for another couple of years, what that impact has actually really been. Gail and Julie are obviously from slightly different backgrounds in terms of, of their working. Gail with a social work background, Julie a former head teacher and now a literacy and languages development officer. The amazing thing was, Julie and I have worked on this third floor for so long and we were literally four metres apart but where paths never crossed. So I was in the social work side, Julie was in the education side, and we never, we never had any joint projects or anything. Gail was really um, instrumental in the Dolly Parton idea, the books. You know, we had a specific project which was for the provision of books through the Scottish Government funding for looked after children. After about, you know, 10 years of doing that, it then went to a conference and that's when I saw all these amazing establishments down south doing so much more and I thought this is way more than a book and it has to be more about family interaction, children interaction and, and everybody being the same and that's when I approached Julie. I think in Renfrewshire we've got a history of tackling poverty and having a really clear tackling poverty agenda so for us we're very used to providing things on a very equitable basis so for us it was the logical next step to have a programme that was universal so that it doesn't matter where you're from in Renfrewshire, what your postcode is, that every child is eligible for Imagination Library. So Gail and Julie really put their heads together at the beginning and thought how do we sell this so that actually parents signed up for it and they didn't feel as if it was something that was about a charity or about good works or whatever. The fact the initiative was, was originally by Dolly Parton certainly helps because she's got a big pool, hasn't she? She's famous. Everybody loves Dolly. I've never met anyone who doesn't. Knowing Dolly's background, that she couldn't, obviously her dad couldn't read and he couldn't write. So for me, facilitating that into a nursery environment, I feel really important to start at that young age with books. One of the most important things we've done is establish that network of ambassadors people who are real cheerleaders of Imagination Library, people who take it forward within their establishments and support us with everything from registration to changes of address, but most importantly, linking the books with learning in the playroom. So in our nursery, Reading for Pleasure is a big part of it. We've got Book of the Month. The child receives the book. The child then hears about the book in nursery goes home and talks about the book at home. And I think that that kind of connection, that golden thread that runs between nursery and home and the book is actually the thing that's made the real difference. Julie and Gail are very creative in their approaches. They're both great fun. And I think that has allowed people to take real ownership of the activities that they've planned. Julie and Gail are very supportive with us as an establishment. They're always on the phone. They're always an email away. And the great thing is that with being ambassadors, we have the meetings as well. So we get to kind of share that practice with other establishments. And then obviously have that bond with Julie and Gail, which is, is great. So it makes it fun working with them because they are a wee bit crazy like us. As, as they say. And so. passionate. <laughs> So we're all crazy yeah, and passionate yeah. together, aren't we? Dolly fans. <laughs> We've had different competitions just to keep the momentum going because you start off, you get quite a big influx of registrations and then it tails off because other life takes over and we had to keep that momentum going. But I mean, some of the competitions that Julie and I have come up with have been so well, so well met by the establishments. They had set out a competition um, and it was for parents to like their posts and from that they gave the opportunity for a winning family to receive um, an ice cream van to come to the nursery. And fortunately for us, we were one of the um, winning nurseries. So we had Dolly arrive with our ice cream van. The ice cream van arrived, we put Dolly in as if she was serving ice cream. And this tiny wee two-year-old was standing like he was in, you know, behind bars, but he was holding it and he's shouting, Dolly, Dolly, because he could see Dolly standing next to the ice cream van. And we could not believe how much it meant to these young people and they're our future. We need to invest in them. And if this is what we can do to try and invest in them, then it's got to be a winner. It's got to be. I'm so mindful that some of our children don't have the opportunities to go out and see what's beyond their local community. So when these books arrive, for me, it's that opportunity. It's us bringing the world to them through the, the life of a book. For us, sometimes we have to pinch ourselves when we yeah. realise that now there's over 3,300 children every month. 
So the postmen and women of Renfrewshire probably aren't our biggest <laughs> fans, but is it just to see the reactions of you know the youngest learners yeah. across Renfrewshire? It's just fantastic. We think about three thousand books a month or whatever, but come probably August, we'll have had a hundred thousand books delivered in Renfrewshire. That is just mind boggling. It it just just can you imagine them all piled up in here. 100,000 books, it's just amazing. Julie and Gail are just, their work is just infectious. They are just so committed and hardworking and their drive to make this programme really successful across Renfrewshire, I think it's what has made the impact we've seen already. Their enthusiasm is incredible. They just love it. They love the initiative as much as we do, but, but they really should be very proud of themselves. And I know that they, they don't take compliments well, but they should. I would just like to tell them that we are all very proud of them.